Friday is 18th of August um, we're looking, today we're going to look at a um, piece of footage, a short one minute video that's been sent in from the Chester investigation um, it's considered an anomaly and some strange sounds that's within it um, so we're going to look at that now in detail um, I want to listen to the audio first um, then uh, I will review the um, video separately to that at the end so um, I wasn't actually going to use the audio today and I've all got EQ I'm not using EQ at all just using it really as a volume for amplification that's it uh, the right side just a spectrum analyzer so we're going to review the audio first and come back to the actual visual later so you will see something appear here which looks quite strange uh, and we, we will come back to that um, shortly That sounds like a car. Um, I know somebody working in a building's got an incredibly loud car, um, and that sounds like a car. The room is completely empty. Um, the car park is to the left hand side of the window down down there. Um, Twenty two. It's quite late. Yeah, that's a car. That's a car. I am satisfied that, that that is almost undoubtedly a car. You know, change gear, drive away. That's the initial start up. The car it will be just left hand side of that window, although this is 30 foot in the air. I'm confident that that's the car. Yeah, uh, that's the Zenit car. So. Although it was on um, the 8th of, um, no it's the 14th, which is a Friday night, 10 past 10. It actually could be the owner because at the end of the day he, uh, he drives a car with quite a loud exhaust. So it's, but it's a car of some description anyway. Um, just because it's Friday night and it's gone 10 past 10. And it's a business park doesn't mean that no guarantee that uh, no one's not going to be there so not an issue at all right so we'll terminate that one as far as the audio is concerned we're now going to look at the visual which is obviously the strange one okay The audio won't be as loud on there because I'm not actually uh, interested in the audio. Let me just sh shut that down. Right, let's see what we've got. Okay, this is strange anomaly coming from the life.
Okay. It does look quite strange. Um, I'm going to show you the camera that um, this is the camera that's picked it up. So it's something, uh, what I'm thinking is that it could be a spider's um, web. Um, the camera is infrared and is the heat of these because uh, the room is empty that tracks um, other insects which then attract the spider. Um, never underestimate how quickly a spider can drop web. Um, these are the stills that have been taken um, far as this is um, I've had a, a friend do from the Dutch SPR in the Netherlands Jenski that's done a little bit of work with some screenshots and what we will do, we're going to have a look at these lights um, to see if they move hmm. Possibly. See, this is what a spider's web can look like um, across a, C a CCTV um, camera. Got these distinct lights. This isn't off this camera, uh, just a sample one that I have. Um, Let's take another careful look at this. Take a notice of the noises, that is definitely a car. Are those moving? What I'm going to do, I am um, copy and paste them. I'm actually going to slow this down. Um, those of you that are interested in uh, analysing movies, all I'm doing is using uh, Movie Maker. Um, just go into the video tools and slow down. You've got the speed there. We'll go for the slowest speed. Um, let's see if we can get any more clues. Right, just being picked up there. See it very slowly beginning to rise. The square is just the camera, the IR has picked a, a, an event up, an anomaly, and um, that's what triggers the alarm in this particular camera. The piece coming into view there. I'll do. I'm just gonna That's the camera. So the camera's obviously facing out to the empty room. Um it's difficult to um think of how a strand of spider's web could cause that effect. Um, 
the scene scene in his own plan and you know I think we've all done it at home haven't we we can all be surprised that um, how much um, how long a spider's web can be you know especially the strands of it now I know there's a, a video of the I think it's the following day. This is dated the 14th of, um, of August, the one on the 15th of lockdown. When I actually saw this, uh, the business owner was actually in his office in the building and I sent him back round to check the camera um, for any signs of, of spider's web and he's, he maintains there was none, absolutely none. Um, so, um, I'll leave that there as it's going to go visual. screen for you yes yeah, it's <coughs> silly coming up from the the white surface here is obviously the kitchen top um, how are these lights moving now I'm really not, not sure Well, if you've got any ideas, please um, let us know in the comments box. Um, possibly spiders web. Possibly, I know it looks difficult because of the the way that uh, that's the exactly. This is. I think it was done on the following day. This is photographed on the fifteenth because we had a. An unusual anomaly, and I wanted to make absolutely certain when the owner was there. So he did, he did go into it and uh, checked, and there was absolutely no signs of uh, any sort of spider's web. Um, but these do attract the insects, and then obviously the spider, and they will lay the traps there for them. So it was, you've got to be careful with CCTV cameras. But I'm just unsure how that, what that spider's web could attach itself to. If you know, for example, if it was um, a fly that flown through it and escaping, you, you see this, the web move very quickly. That doesn't move very quickly at all. Um, I don't know. I'm not going. I'm going to go. I'm going to sit on the fence with this one. Uh, I I just don't know. So, right. If you've got any ideas, please leave them in the comments box. Okay.